So Chica first came into care through our animal ambulance. She was really, really emaciated and the team at the Mackay shelter cared for her for quite some time. So by the time Chica came to Waycol, she'd been in care for quite a number of months. Um, her behaviour had started to deteriorate. The shelter isn't really a place where we want dogs to have to stay. And she just wasn't able to find an adopter right away. So we noticed behaviours like reactivity towards other dogs. She'd started car chasing when she was taken out on walks and really just showing a lot of signs that she wasn't coping very well. So what did we try and do to work through and help her with her issues? We started her on a behaviour mod program so that we could desensitise her to some of her triggers and we worked really hard with her. So I first met Chica when she was back of house dogs and she was friendly really. She loved being in the kitchen with all the volunteers and the staff. She was a little bit dog reactive but we were working on that throughout each day. She was a lovely dog to be around. She learned really really quickly. She had really great eye contact and wanted to do the right thing for the handler. That made her a good candidate to work with. We used a lot of high value treats to train her but really with Chica because she was such a social dog, pats and praise and just spending time with people, we also took her out of the kennel so that she didn't spend all day practicing the behaviours that we were trying to counter condition and she spent quite a bit of time in our office foster program at Waycol. So at the moment we're housing her up in the fundraising office just so she gets a bit of a break from the shelter life. So we do find that dogs when they are here for a long time they start to not really cope with the shelter environment. So that's why it's a good opportunity for her to go upstairs. Yes, good girl. Oh, you're so gentle. But when we first actually got to meet her, she was quite reactive and it was really hard to take her on walks and stuff because there were so many dogs around the shelter. Now she's very well behaved um, and she's learnt a lot from the behaviour team about how to act around other dogs but still be really friendly and not afraid. So yeah, she's come a long way. Did she have some favourite things to do while she was at the shelter? Puddles, treats, but when you take her out to the yard she used to do these little 360 zoomies which was amazing and so much fun to watch. So she enjoyed her off-site adventures as well? She did, we actually focused a lot on her training and working on her reactivity as well but she picked up really quickly and she just enjoyed being out and about and exploring. We have a lovely little friendly puppy uh, climbing all over the studio as well, aren't you Chica? Hey. <laughs> Yeah, this is Chica. Oh, She's yeah. up for adoption. Oh, she She's never... actually nearly been in our care for a year now. Wow. So um, she came in via our inspectorate. So you wouldn't be able to tell looking at her right now, but she was super skinny. But yeah, she is looking for a home right now. So I actually took her home about three weeks before she got adopted. She had been a long term for quite a while and I thought, why not take on a little challenge? But she actually turned out to be the complete opposite. She was the best house dog. She slept, she ate, she cuddled with my kids. She was just the, the best dog, best couch potato really. So by the time it came to rehoming Chica, we really didn't want a doctor to feel like they didn't have any support and we wanted to make sure that we set her up for every success possible in her new home. The vets worked with us to develop a mental health plan for her so that she wasn't so anxious in care and stressed and was able to learn and respond to her behaviour modification. Chica was one of the pilot dogs really for our trial adoption program which means that her adopter had support from the behaviour team after her adoption. Every day we just hoped that we'd find the right home for her and that she could be in the home that she really deserved to be in. Um, my name's Tamara. <laughs> so it's been about three weeks now that we've been doing a trial adoption with Chica. We've been looking for a dog say for about two years and I think we were just looking for the right one. And um, yeah, we saw Chica and then we just applied. Everyone loves her, like I take her to the office and she gets all the pats there. <laughs> and then yeah, whenever she's at home, she's just laying on the couch watching Netflix with us. <laughs> she likes binging Bob's Burgers, if have you seen it. <laughs> hey, hello, hello. <laughs> it's, it's nice to see how like well looked after she was while she was here. She's very calm with humans, like she loves, she's pretty much just like a cat. <laughs> like she loves belly rubs, she just wants to be next to you. But yeah, we're glad that she's being loved now because she does deserve that, like any dog really. Mm.
There are so many rewarding things about Chica's case and even when she was in care she just was an absolute joy to spend time with. Um, she definitely was a staff and volunteer favourite. Considering Chica had such a long journey and so many people put so much work into her, there is no better feeling than watching her go home and, and now to hear that she's doing so well in her new home with her adopter is just the reason why we all do what we do.